And now, your first alert weather. I tell you, it's one of those mornings where you just want to stay in the bed. Uh, I need a heated mattress. <laughs> it is going to be chilly cold when you step out. Here's a live look at Antelope Flats. The roads are clear. However, there may be some freezing fog on your windshield in some parts. Here's a live look over the Teton Pass. It's beginning to get bright. It's going to be cold for the kids as they launch into Veterans Day today. I know there are lots of activities. Jackson Hole has a celebration at 11 a.m. We've got the Pocatello Veterans Day Parade tomorrow. I know Eagle Rock Middle School is having something this morning uh, there to celebrate Veterans Day as well with our friends. 16 degrees and overcast conditions to begin with. The temperature is not going to change much today. We're not going to get above freezing. Slow your roll. You know there's some slick spots. These folks are doing it right. Okay, spread out a little bit. Give folks some room because there is black ice in spots where you may not even know it's cold today and it'll be about 19 degrees by the time we get to 10 a.m. 22 degrees by lunchtime during our noon broadcast today and we'll bring you some highlights of different activities around the area and count you down to other Veterans Day specials. By the way, Veterans Today at Chick-fil-A in Ammon, you get a biscuit or a sandwich. That's it. So Dylan, I'm taking you to lunch, buddy. Thank you for your service, sir. Uh, it is going to be about 25, 27, uh, close to 30 degrees in the Pocatello, maybe about 31 for the afternoon. And then we're going to slide on off into the teens. 23 in Pocatello, it feels like about 19 right now as things begin to brighten up. Sunrise here in about 25 minutes. But we do have some of that freezing fog, those low clouds. This is out by the site at 20, 26. And we've got 12 degrees in Driggs. It's 9 in Jackson, 7 in Salmon, 8 below in Stanley, and about 20 degrees into Twin a pair of twos into Boise this morning and even warmer into Pocatello. So huddle together. Winds out of the south southwest at about five to six miles an hour and that will make your chill bumps have chill bumps. It feels like it's three degrees in Driggs. It feels like 10 below in Arco right now with the windshield. So for today, for this Veterans Day, it's going to be in the mid to upper 20s. That's the high temperature. It'll be about 31 into Pocatello, 33 into Burley and about 35 into Stanley, 25 in San and we'll be in the 20s into the parks as well. And tonight's lows will make you shiver. So we get some clouds in here for the morning, some frozen fog, low, low clouds, and you'll need to wipe that donut glaze off of the windshield. Just crank the heat up and the hits on 99 KUPI because I got big and rich tickets to give away. They go on sale this morning too at 10 o'clock for the Mountain America Center at Hero Arena. That's going to be fun at the end of November. We're going to see some sun blow through here as we get into the weekend, but it's that cold sunshine, very misleading. So for Veterans Day, cloudy in Blackfoot, it'll be 28 degrees, and then we hover around freezing for the remainder of the period, and we've got some really cold air that may sink in here as we head toward the end of the week. It's going to be 25 uh, for the afternoon in Rexburg. It'll be 4 degrees tonight. We're going to be right around 33 into tomorrow. Salmon, Veterans Day 25-0 tonight, and we get some of that fog around that may freeze on your windshield, but it looks like the afternoons are going to be above freezing. For Jackson, 27-9 below tonight. It will be 34 there at Snow King and we'll continue to try and make snow. Everything's going to freeze. Pocatello, it's going to freeze today. It'll be 12 tomorrow morning when you tee up the Veterans Day Parade there in uh, downtown, uptown, all around town in Pocatello. It starts at 10 tomorrow morning and it's going to be a blast. They haven't had one of those in over half a century. It's going to be awesome. Look forward to seeing coverage of that here on Local News 8 and Eyewitness News 3 tomorrow night. It will be below freezing though for the majority of next week and then we've got some really cold air that's going to sink in here as we plunge into next Friday. But for Veterans Day today, cold, thank a veteran, uh, slap them on the back and, and give them a big hug too. It's going to be cold tonight. We're not going to get above freezing for the next week in Idaho Falls. Hey, here's something to share with us too. What's the funniest text that you've received? My mother sent one and said, hey, what's wrong with your face? <laughs> I said, I was born that way. Uh, 534-9957. Thanks for watching. All right, thanks, Jeff.